The colours of the design we're about to create are extremely strong and vibrant against one another and the choice of container is extremely important. The components that we are using in this design are the oyster leaf, roses, gerberas, the batostrum that you can see at the moment and a little bit of the variegated English box. This is the oyster leaf being inserted into the soaked foam and we have a blue container which is very strong in its colour particularly given the combination of flowers. We have a layering effect of the oyster leaf. If that one wasn't going to arch for us we could give it a wire support and it is important when using this type of foliage which is quite commonly grown in the southern states of Australia that it is conditioned before it is used otherwise it can wilt quite quickly. If it is picked and put into water very quickly in a conditioning solution it will last for approximately three weeks. If not it's lucky to last 24 hours. We have a good base here, two gerberas, very strong contrast of colour against the green and the blue base. This would be the type of design where you want to really catch the eye. The gerberas have been wire supported. If you look closely you'll see the wire. This one is external. It's a painted wire. 0.71 and possibly on the very top gerbera 0.90 which is stronger and firmer. That's 20 in Imperial. Because the foam has been raised against the lip of the container we were able to insert on that downward angle up into the foam. Remember all stems are cut on a good angle and remove foliage where it is going to attach itself into the foam. Now that was a rose leaf there with its stem being inserted into the foam. It will drink and that gives the texture of the leaves flowing into the roses. We have two separate areas, the gerberas higher and to the left and the roses, two clustered quite close together, then a space to the third and the two at the base also grouped together. So that's an interesting combination of a two, a space, one, space and back to two. The fine petostrum is being added. Be careful of forked tops. When the foliage is straighter it gives a better line direction. And this bowl has a line movement from the yellow gerberas flowing right through to the orange and out to the roses already. See the shape developing there? It's actually an L line but it's a more modern version of the traditional L line. The shorter pieces of petostrum are bringing the texture and colour of the taller piece behind down to the stomach section or base of the design. The box is bringing in the yellow and you'll notice the yellow in the back of the roses as well as of course the gerberas. So each of the foliages is helping to highlight a colour area within the flowers. If you can use these thought processes within your arranging you will find that it will always add a visual interest to the design that you are creating. Our further roses are being added giving more depth to the design. It's a lot of forward movement with the oyster leaves and they're very dominant because of the surface area that they occupy. That has allowed the colour on the other side to counterbalance. Now an extension of line is being added with the roses and we're now incorporating a crescent shape in a more modern placement. So where you originally had an L line you now actually have a crescent line as well 
as a line. You can see that arching of the crescent. That leaf is not sitting correctly, so it will be removed. That would be the ideal placement. There's the visual movement of both sections in this design. Great deal of depth from the top rows to the base rows. You have a great deal of depth of movement. The two gerbras at the base counterbalance the two gerbras above.